There's that. <laughs> okay. So you know, but you all are you are like very very tiny boxes, and it's really the focus is on me. I don't think you even you don't see them in the recording. But I know you're there, and I see your littleness. Come to a seated position that is comfortable for your body. If you'd like to sit on some props or use props under your leg to mix it up, I just want this this pose to not be an obstacle for you. This is years and years of practice sitting on the floor, um, so we can be patient and we can support ourselves to make it work for us. We just want to be able to. Be able to sit with peace in our spines so legs can do what they need to. No matter what's going on in your brain right now, we can go into our body with our awareness. So just begin to let awareness touch your physical body as you create your seated shape. And relax your eyes, relax your arms and hands. Let your nervous system register ease when you rest your arms. Your spine feels supported. Your breath can relax. And all of that physical stuff helps the mind begin to relax as well. Here to become mindful, come out of our thinking brains and try to find and stillness, very patient with this process. Low back draws into the body gently, just feeling and aligning your spine so that your shoulders rest on your ribs at the top of your torso and then your neck lengthens out, chin down, chin up slowly, just explore that movement. Trying to balance your skull on top of your spine. Looking down at your nose whenever you lift your chin, do that counter gaze. And then try to just float your skull so your ears and eyebrows are aligned with each other. Okay, yoga. Let your belly relax. Take a few breaths, letting the belly move. The ribs move. Beginning to organize your breathing. Steady rhythm. Sound like an ocean. And through the nose. A few determined breaths can help clear out any feelings of not being very clear in the nose. So be determined with that. Let the breath swirl two more times. Feel its energy come into the body. Very distinct and feel its distinct feeling of leaving the body. Bring your hands in front of your heart and away from your heart a little bit. And evenness in your pressing. Lift up your elbows. For pranamasana, so you may feel your chest muscle, muscles working as you press your palms together, activate your chest, activate your heart center with that physical awakening of the press. And then breathe deeply in and hum or om. Do some sort of vibration for your exhalation just to let your nervous system benefit. Um, and rest your arms into your body, draw your hands into your heart, bring down your forehead and have a moment of quietness.
Lift your chin, floating up your skull, on top of your spine once more. We come together with ourselves and each other with the vibration of sound. Let us release, show our standing position to downward facing dog. Take your time between the poses. I try to allow you enough time. Hands spiral outward so the shoulders are broad. If you need to warm up your wrists a little bit, you may do that. Just have some awareness, mindfulness, these lovely miracles of our hands. Tuck under your toes when you're ready, lift up your hips. And if the backs of your legs are tight right now, just give them a little time. Let your spine find length first. So heels of hands to your hips, way up in the sky, head bowing down. Gradually releasing the legs from any stiffness. Just let them lengthen out, heels reaching down gently. And when we find those rich, even waves of breath, samas, ruti, pranayama, same equal waves. The project for the logical brain. And it's establishing a rhythm for our practice. One more exhale. Find that little uplift in your low belly if you haven't already. Then press your hands and walk back towards your feet. Breathe out once you're there and fold forward. Wherever your arms reach is fine. Let your knees bend if they need to. Standing up, use your legs. Draw your hands right into your heart center. Relax your feet. Stand in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Breathe deeply in. Breathe deeply out. Arms by your sides. Surya, reaching for the radiant star. Inhale, hands meet at the heart. And then come up towards the sky. Lift your back ribs to gaze up. Stretch your eyes up. Changing to the forward fold with the second breath. Mindful process. Tuck your chin as your exhale leaves. Slowly inhale to halfway lift pose. Ardha Uttanasana. Tap. And then walking yourself out to plank pose. A little playful. Movement using the whole body. Downward facing dog for five breaths. Warming up. Dropping in. There might be a running commentary of thinking that's going on. Just try to focus on your breath. Feel your body so your brain gets into where you are right now. Be with this experience without attachment or aversion. One more breath. Shift forward to your plank and go a little bit further up onto the balls of your feet. Go forward, forward, and then relax. Walk your feet to your hands this time. Come to Ardha Uttanasana, half lift pose. When you're ready to breathe out, fold forward, soften and calm. Stand up, hands to heart. Bend to sky, stretch your inhale. Into the sides of the body, exhalation. Pause, evenness, sameness. Deep breath. Arms wide, turn out your palms, sweep them up, catch the sun. Gaze up, finish that inhale. Exhale, arms wide again. Catch the backs of your legs and gently draw yourself towards them, exhaling. Hands to the fronts of the legs, press them straight, inhale. Exhale, right leg back only, high lunge. Have a moment, have blocks on either side if you like. Give yourself a moment to arrange into this shape. Keeping a long neck, you may mix up your hand position. 
settle into the shape. What can you relax? What can you release? Patiently taking one more breath. Bring down your back knee on Dhaniyasana pose. So we change the lunge to the knee down and the toes coming forward or the knee coming forward towards the toes. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. Hands together at your heart. Optional, take them up towards the sky. Keep a downward gaze. For one, cross both feet. And five, exhale, hands to heart. Pressing the front leg straight, come to your heel. Pull forward from your pelvis. And add a lateral reach. So just come across your leg or foot. The other hand, wherever it's supportive, bow down so you get that forward fold quality for five breaths. Please find in each pose the place where there's a therapeutic and positive place for you. There's not creating pain, but creating some sensation, okay? A little bit of hard work, your tapas, the energy you put in. Breathe out once more. Let yourself feel complete with each thing. Bend your knee, release your leg back. Come out to your belly onto your forearms. Lift up your knees if you can for five, four. So here we have Uriana Banda, navel towards the spine, toes and elbows pull towards each other, to, towards the middle of the body. Press your arm bones. Two and one last breath, strong breathing. Come down slowly to your navel, your pelvis, release your feet and legs long behind you and down. Take your arms out over your head and relax your head towards the floor. Have a moment just to center on your belly. Rock your pelvis side to side a little bit, just to ground. Feel your heart beating. Legs a little wider than your mat, pelvis grounded. Bring your chest up off the floor a little bit and hands Reach overhead, breathe in, open hands. Exhale, squeeze and pull, lift a little higher. Four more times, relax down, inhale, reach. Exhale is the lift and pull, so the effort's on the exhale. Inhale, release. Exhale, reach, squeeze, pull. One more time. Exhale, squeeze, pull, and relax, head to right side. Let your legs relax, their effort. You're gently stretching the neck carefully. And draw your shoulders off your ears. Taking some nice earth time, turn your head the other way. Maybe change the stack of your hands too. Keep things interesting. Shoulders down. Creating that steady rhythm of breath. Four. Five. Legs come together, activate them, hands by your chest, cobra, lift it up, come to your knees, upward dog, downward facing dog. Five breaths, you wanna bring down your knees, you could. Infuse each pose with your mindfulness. One more breath. 
Navel towards the spine. That helps you step your right leg forward. High lunge, second side. A little time to refine and work with your body, your flesh of your torso on the inside of your bent knee can be helpful. Let your neck be relaxed, so downward facing. Three, four, five. Bring down your back knee and release the toes. Come up for Anjani Asana's pose, letting the knee come out towards the toes to your own degree. Tail tucking energy, downward gazing, hands to heart. Optional upward arms, shoulders off the ears for one, two. What can you soften? Strengthen you your bony structure. And one last breath. Bring it down to your heart when you're exhaling, and then press your foot, straighten your leg, come to your heel, draw back your toes. On a men's pose variation, folding forward, adding the reach across with the opposite arm, find a nice lateral lengthening in your body. Forward fold, head down. Trying to come into the experience of the body, somatic awareness. Air on your skin. The way your eyes perceive the light. The way your heart feels about it all. Exhale. Bend your knee to release and step forward to the top of your mat. Take your time with that process. Fold forward once you're there. Use your legs and feet. Press. Rise, hands to heart. Inhale again, hands to sky. Exhale, release, down. Virabhadrasana A. Right leg stepping back, big step back. Angle the back heel towards the middle of your mat and bend your front knee. Have a moment to settle into your shape. In these poses, you can add the tail tucking energy if you need space in your low back. Well, it just keeps us from overextending there. Let's do the interlace arms behind. Breathe. Gently pull your hands towards your back foot. Opening across your heart and front shoulders with downward eyes off the nose. That nose gaze is one of our, it's our default setting. Be curious about that. What do your eyes do? Does one of them look at the side of your nose? You don't have to think a lot about it, but just be curious. One more breath. Straighten and release your arms. Straighten your front leg. Take the reverse warrior. Put the hips towards the front a little bit today. So bend your knee again. Reach up and back with your same arm, turn and look at your back foot. Five breaths. Hips still squaring towards the front. Last one. Straighten the legs and arms, breathe in, turn to wide parallel feet. And breathe out, bring down your arms. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, forward fold. You may bend your knees. Just come out towards your ankles or your big toes with your arms and draw your elbows towards your legs. Belly up, head down. So I tend to go right back into my heels in this pose and then begin the work of trying to balance in the feet. So bringing weight into the balls of the feet as well as the heels. Shoulders draw into the body, neck is long. You can hear my nose get stuck, you wanna turn upside down. So just continue that determined breathing if that happens to you.
Smile, speak slowly, but breath inhale, just the right amount of effort and ease. Exhale, complete. Up the legs, slide the hands, inhale, come up. And step to the front of your mat again. Work your feet in close enough so you have that step out power. Tadasana. Other leg stepping back. Here, we're dressing the A. So it's come down low, square towards the front. That um, left hip coming forward, right hip coming back to whatever degree works today. Maybe some tail awareness, some low back lengthening. Leave your fingers together the opposite way. Draw them back towards your back foot and gaze down your nose. Nasabra Jiji. The eyes are never forced. Just take the breath. Just take the body. Non forcing. Ahimsa. These are the first teachings of yoga. It's no harming. One more breath. Completing. Put your front leg straight and release your hands. Reverse warrior with the warrior A hips today. So up and back. Bend your knee again. And then your other arm just rest in your leg as you look towards your back foot, taking five breaths. Try to steady the eyes somewhere off that nose gaze. Sorry, back foot. I know I said that. One more exhalation. Release to the wide parallel feet on the other side for a second variation. Holding your pelvis, breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Elbows go towards each other behind you. Your fingers in the front of your pelvis help you lengthen your spine. Try to spread your feet. And be with quality of forward fold. If you're pressing your pelvis with your hands so your spine becomes long. Exhale once more. Inhale energy coming up. Use the whole body and the breath. Release top of mat. Tadasana. Bend your knees and step out to the right side of your mat. Turn your right foot towards the back for triangle pose. Back foot angles in, stretch the arms, inhale. Remember to work from your solar plexus over and down with your just radiating rays like the sun, arms and legs. Ground your bottom hand. Gently turn your eyes upward, breathe five times. Breathing in when you're ready to come up and change sides. You can learn to economize those transitions over time when you know your pose. Take your time to come in. Let your face turn forward or upward and breathe five times. Self-care. You can't serve from an empty vessel. Just try to release everything beyond this moment. You want to go forward or back. Just stay with this body experience. It's patient. Exhale, finish, navel in. Inhale, rise, lean and reach pose. Bend your knee, lean and reach. Simple standing poses. No grounding. Do this in your own way if you want to come down to the floor a bit lower. Eyes go towards the palm or the inner arm. One more breath. 
Inhale, over to the other side. Up, transition, bend, lean. Reach your top arm with your shoulder down. Settle your eyes. Just the right amount for today. And one more breath. Inhale, up and out. And turn so both sets of toes are facing the corners of your mat, please. We'll just take the right leg out, knee towards the toes. On that side, bring your hand behind your skull with your elbows bent. I'll just turn a little bit so you can see. Side lunge, it's that angled head behind the knee. Deep. Other foot turns straight towards the front of your mat as much as you can, and then comes to a Baya Mudra. Stop sign hand, gaze at that hand. Refuge and protection. Five. Concentrate deeply on holding these four actions. Just one more breath. Finish exhale, inhale, let go. So you're turning your other foot towards the corner of the mat for that angle. So the foot at the front turns towards that right corner, knee bends, hand behind skull. Other foot towards the back of the mat, hand in the stop sign, Abhaya Mudra, looking back at that hand for five. Just open the footprints like elephant feet. Whatever resonates with you with the gesture. One more exhale. In your own way, work your way out of that position and do a lot of that with heel toe to get the legs close. Come out. Looking at Garudasana pose today a little bit differently, the eagle pose. So one way to think of it as looking from a great height. I wanted to play with the arms a little bit. So take your arms in front with your shoulders still in your body to start. And then let your shoulders come out of your body. Take your right arm under your left and bend your elbows. You can hug your shoulders to start or stay. Or if you want to wrap that left hand around to the right one, and then hug your arms into your body. That's a different exploration that I wanted to look at today. Hugging the elbows in. If you wanted to add the leg position, you can wrap it up with the legs too. Optional. You may just want to focus on the upper body today and that hugging in. Relax your shoulders. One more breath. Let it go. Open up to star pose, arms and legs wide. Soft shoulders, soft hands. Earth and sky. Sun, moon, earth. Hawks. Everything. Second side, Garudasana. Arms in front, shoulders out in front too. And the left arm under the right. And your elbows come together, non forcing. Shoulder hug is fine. Work it in close to your chest today. At the legs if you want to, other side. Meditative practice. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. And release your arms. A little awakening energy by inhale, interlacing your fingers and breathing in, reaching up. Back ribs come up too. Breathe out, forward fold for five breaths. 
Move your fingers again towards the floor. You may rock if you would like to. It's part of our seasonal practice, reinforcing that groundedness, calming the nervous system. Try to relax any gripping in your feet. One more breath, be still. Bend your knees so that you may bring back your legs. This walking out to plank position that we do. And then press your hands to walk to your feet and walk out to the plank the other way from the back to the front. Knees down. Quarter dog pose, long arms, head down. Big breaths into back body, spread your hands. Toe tucking optional. Your hands really stick. So you have this sense that you're, it's like you're hanging from a branch or something and letting your spine just be really long with gravity, but we're pulling our hips away from the hands to create that sense. So one more time, breathe out deeply. Rising up to your hands and knees. If you need cushioning under your knees, it's fine to place the blanket there. Left hand spreading open upon the earth, round both tops of the feet and take your right hand behind your skull. Bring your elbow towards your other elbow and open out. Twice more. Find your own range of motion gently. And then coming through to threading needle. Take your arm through this time, lower to your skull carefully. Use your left hand for support. You may bring your feet together behind you or optionally pick up your left leg when you come into kind of a balance. Only if that does not strain your neck at all. Some sort of side headstand. Deep breath. Bring down your leg if you lifted it. Inhale when you're ready. Press your left hand and open out deeply out to that right side. Release. Child's pose, side breaths. Relax back and down. Each pose has its own energy. Just curious, observing. Try not to feel too much pull of attachment or aversion. Kind of a neutral attitude towards everything. Equanimity. Inhale, back up to tabletop for the second side. So really taking care of that right hand, taking a different position if you need. Set your table, left hand behind the skull, three times open to the left and then curl towards the right elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. If you have a lot of mid-back stiffness, this can be nice to bring into your life regularly. And curl. Go ahead and thread your needle, slide that arm underneath, lower to your skull carefully. You might reset your right hand for support. Bring your toes together, optional lifting of the right leg up and back like three-legged dog. Two, you can let the breath go a little faster if you need it to. One more exhale, release your leg down. Use inhale energy to open all the way out with a straight arm. And exhale, release. 
from tabletop position, take your right leg out to the side like Parigasana. So straight out to the side. And we're just gonna sit back, straight back, go straight back towards your left heel and hold for five breaths. It might feel more supportive to tuck your toes under, that's up to you, as is how far you go back. And hip flexor releasing, go gentle. Last breath. Follow your inhalation when it comes to release. Balasana, yogi's choice with the arms. Return and breathing when you curl yourself in like this. One more time. Follow your inhalation. Back up to your hands and knees. I think if this is it for hands and knees. Taking the left leg out with the toes forward. Like Parigasana. I think might be a little more supportive to tuck the back toes, but that's optional. And just sink back a little bit or a lot and fold your thigh. Exhale once more. And then coming out and transitioning to pigeon pose with your right knee forward. You may also come to your back and take the figure four shape. Slide your left, left leg straight back. It's appropriate to do some of that tail tucking energy in pigeon pose to keep the low back lengthened. Using your arms for support. You may also go over and rest on your outer hip. That is fine. Try to have your other leg straight back. Have a loving look at it. And then you may come out and down to your own degree. In a place where you can breathe deeply and relax. Even if you are doing some holding of yourself in a really specific way. With change that is inevitable, even our natural restlessness yoga brings us a steadiness. Relax your head and neck downward. Take another breath or two. Inhale. Lift up your head, straighten your arms. Second side with an optional upward dog, downward dog, or child's pose. You can feel nice to stretch out the, the legs and hips and spine from that shape. Other side, when you're ready, working with this side, it can be on the back, it can be different. Feel full fold of the knee. Look back and try to straighten your legs straight back. Use your arms for support. Out and down gradually. Transitions are important. Let yourself get used to the idea. Relax your head down and breathe steadily. Our logical brain has this um, holding us in just the right place, taking care of us so we can relax. The logical brain may also help create the rhythm of the breath. The sound of the breath. To scan the entire body with awareness. Last time, inhale when you are ready. Exhale when you are ready. Exhale, concentrates into your navel center. It looks like you've established that core. Then bring your hands to the earth. Optional up dog, down dog. And then to sit down. Or a little child's pose there. And 
And in your own way, come through, sit down. Legs out in front. Right leg in and look into the side, 90 degrees. Breathe in, sit up tall and face your straight leg this time. Breathe out, go slowly forward and down. Connect with your foot or leg. Bring your head down towards your knee. Breathe five times. Drawing the belly back. One more exhale. Inhale, follow it. Rise up, lean back, half one leg boat pose. You may support with your arms if you like. Lift your heart. Four, just one more breath. And release down your leg, bring them together once again. Like our seated mountain pose, Dandasana, staff pose. Left leg in to the full, open to the side, maybe 90 degrees. Inhale, arms up, face the front leg. Exhale, go slowly so you may feel the process. Make sure you're taking care of maybe your knee bends. Stop where you stop, bring your head down, learn three, five. Really dropping in. Your patience paying off and helping you find that sense of inner awareness. Free from time. And breathe out. Follow, inhale, energy up, lean back a little bit, straighten out your leg, one leg boat, really use your other foot as a foundational aspect here, and a determined lift of your spine and your heart. Three, four, if you need to support your leg, and five, bring it on down, And come into your back. If you have socks you want to put back on, a little chilly if your feet are cold, you may add them at this point. Optional to have a strap or something like it. And anything you want to have for your Shavasana rest. Bring those and lie down. Maybe with the legs straight. Start by bringing the knees into the chest, checking in that your, your neck is long, that you're centered on your skull. Apanasana, knees to chest. What's this energy like? Just have a curious noticing. And then return your feet to the earth, nice and close to your body, and a little wide from each other. So maybe you can reach and feel your heel. Maybe it's okay. I'll have different bodies to work with proportion-wise. Head center, inhale up to bridge pose, letting the front of your body lengthen five breaths. Just five, so find a place where it feels like some really positive opening in your shape. Use your arms, your legs, your upper back. I'll support this pose. Counter pose to sitting. And just one more deep breath. Maybe you can press your hips a little higher towards the sky. Slowly come back down, feel the energy of changing and letting go of that position. Settle your back to the earth, your low back. Lift up, hit to your hands and just feel that little 
lift of your low back. Also feel that lift of your neck, the secondary curves of our spines. Bring your one leg off the floor and then the other. Straighten one leg towards the sky, then the other. Stay in this version of supported shoulder stand with your hand maybe under your hips or even a block. If you'd like to lift up, you may. Use your foundation lift, hands to the center of your back, and you don't have to straighten your legs all the way. You can try if you like. Find a place that's appropriate for you in this moment. Just try to have a little playfulness with being upside down in some way. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And feel the sensation of your feet and legs. And carefully come down to the earth or just bring your knees back into Apanasana. Like Apana, the exhale energy. Inhale, pranic energy. Fill, expand. Exhale, ground into the center of your belly. Feel that downward, inward energy. Stretch your left leg out upon the earth. It's okay to stay spin. For Sutta Padangushtasana, taking the right leg into a straight or straightish position. You can use both your hands to gently bring your leg towards you. The name of the pose refers to the big toe. So if you'd like to encircle your big toe with your first two fingers and your thumb, you may take that instead or both, one of each. Reach the toes away from each other. Exhale, navel towards the spine. Inhale, lift your head and chest off the floor without straining. So just keep your throat and your heart soft. Try to use your belly, use your arm. Just the right amount for you. Sit up a little higher, one more inhale. Exhale, carefully bring down your head. Open your leg out to the side. Maybe all the way to the floor, even if your other leg lifts way up. Just go follow that over to the side. And then turn your head and look the way, other way. To your own degree. So that toe hold might be too much. Just hold onto your leg instead. Add a little bit of Mula Bandha energy here. A little of that pelvic floor toning in and up. Navel towards the spine as well. And use that front of the center to help you lift your leg back to center. Bring it to your chest and stretch it out. Other leg bends and comes in, holding behind where the big toe holds on Bhushta. Both toes, sets of toes point. Navel toward the spine. Inhale, lift your head. Try not to strain. Eyes softened or even closing, whatever brings your brain the most quietness. With an exhalation, bring your head down slowly. And then open out to the side, letting this foot come all the way to the floor, possibly so your other hip can pick way up as needed. Follow it over, let it go down. Optional to hold on elsewhere. Turn your head to look the other way, breathe five times. Keep the toes pointing, both feet. Good. 
Breathe out. One more time. Mula Banda, Uddiyana Banda. So you're very focused in the pelvis as you come out. That support from the set of core. Bring your knee to your chest. Other knee in. Rocking up, using momentum, you may trust your ankles. So bringing your knees towards you, hold on to your shins, push your feet away and sit up. I want to offer this grounding pose today. That's an energy yoga pose called downward facing triple diamond. So we're gonna come to the front of our body on the mat. So we did earlier and so we have three diamonds. The arms are the first one. So hands are together, elbows wide. The second diamond is your fingers making this shape that your head may rest into. Just try to work out some peace about it. I find if I kind of place my thumbs just below my eyebrows, that works. Third diamond is your feet together. And for some bodies, I think your feet can come to the floor or towards the floor, or they might just be in the air. Let the feet press into each other. Let them try to relax with the knees wide. And just be with as much ease as you can here in a position that invites the release of any sadness or grief, anything that resonates with that, even just the letting go of the summer, whatever it is for you. Have a minute of quietness with that invitation. Letting our emotions have an invitation to release into the earth. Let our tears water the soil. Letting our hearts feel grounded. The knees feel grounded. the last few moments, just try to be present with the quality of this physical shape and the quality that it brings to your emotional and mental bodies. With an exhale, let this feel complete. Let this seal it at the end. Exhale, complete. And you may release in your own body's way. Over to the back of your body. I'm going to honor that in myself. Not make more effort than I need to to turn over and take you a similar position on the back of the body. This time you might elevate under your head if you have a pillow or blanket. <laughs> The facing version that will turn into Shavasana. So, have anything that you might need close by. Settle onto your back body, creating that diamond with the legs. If your low back feels overly arched, do a little correction of bringing your hips down towards your heels. You can do that physically, draw your buttocks brush down towards your heels. Then press the feet and release the legs open. If you'd like to try that diamond shape, the hands and arms upward facing. And 
And the energy of this is the invitation to release any feelings of frustration. We all know there's a, a spectrum of frustration that can include anger or just annoyance. Let anything that in that realm have the freedom to be felt and released if you'd like, or just let the physical shape be. Holding our body in very specific ways. Observing the quality of that with our mindfulness. Breathe very slowly in next time. Very slowly out, relax. Gradual letting go of your limbs out into Shavasana position, resting pose. You can leave your head elevated if you'd like. Let your legs gradually straighten out or do one at a time. And let go of your doing. This has been a lot of doing. Acknowledging all that you've done. Exhale, let it be. Adding any support you need for rest. Covering your eyes if you like, or supporting above or below. Big breath into the body, into the heart center. Big breath out, whole body releasing. Okay, let your breath relax into its natural own patterning again. Still it is right there next to your heartbeat. During the energy of this positioning and then detaching yourself. Just trying to purely be with it without the observation, trying to just be there. I studied much and remembered little, but the world is generous. It kept offering figs and cheeses. Never mind that soon I'll have to give it all back, the world, the figs. To be a train station of existence is no small matter. It doesn't need to be Grand Central or Hedar Prasa station. The engine shed should be low, could be low, windowed with coal dust under the slat shingled roof. It could be tin. Another mystery bandaged with rivets and rubies, leaking cold and heat in both directions as the earth does. It's inviting your body to Come to a lion side, side bend for a few breaths. You just bring your feet over to one side and your torso as well. And just rest with a little side stretch. As you awaken, deepening inhales.
and a slow exploration of that on the other side. Legs over to one side, torso the other, feet a few times, belly free, breath free. Freedom in your stillness and your quietness. Even just little glimpses of it. Release and exhale and come to sitting without disturbing yourself too much. Let it be mindful and working with your body. We deeply through both sides of your nose several times. Creating balance. The hands coming together, mirroring the hemispheres of the brain. In this time of balance, light and dark. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Thank you. You're welcome.